Chrissy. I don't know about you guys, but I happen to think that I rate Stacy as the funniest kind of Stacy. Okay, breakfast is served. A bottle for Chrissy, toast for Skipper, glitter princess pink marshmallow fluff magic cereal for Dad. Complete with glitter princess friendship bracelets inside the box? Yes! Friend cereal for Chelsea. Don't underestimate the importance of fiber. And a Bloody Mary for Barbie. The breakfast of champions. So breakfast table conversation topic. What does one wear to a Celtic folk festival? Well, it would depend on whether that's a real thing or not. See, Anselm and I are going to one for Valentine's Day, and I'm just not sure if it would require a variation in the regular festival dress code, which is almost nothing, plus a flower crown. I'm bored of this conversation already. Anyone got anything better to talk about? So, at school yesterday, we read this cool book. No, Stacy. I'm trying to get started on lunch. Don't talk to me. Great. Chrissy? <laughs> Have kids, they said. They'll bring you so much joy, they said. Speaking of Valentine's Day, what are we going to be doing, Barbie? Uh, I just assumed each other. Why? Were you thinking of a third person or something? Because I'd be open to that as long as the third isn't Yasmin. Not who are we doing, what are we doing? Like, what are our plans? I thought sex was the plan. Sex can't be the only plan. What if it's really good sex? Can that be the only plan? You guys speak way too candidly when we're all in the same room together. It's Valentine's Day, Barbie. We have to do something nice. Something Instagrammable. Ugh, like what? We could go out to dinner. You know I'm not eating food right now, Ken. I'm on a liquid diet. Hello? Fine. A drive-in movie. Why would we pay to make out in a car when we could do that here for free? Maybe we could just have a nice bubble bath together. No, I heard the baths are super unhygienic. I'm talking E. coli, streptococcus, and fecal contaminants, Ken. Why do you think I think sitting in fecal contaminants is romantic, Ken. If you don't want to spend Valentine's with me, then just say so, Barbie. Why are you just say so? I didn't say that. I told you I was up for sex. I just have no interest in spending time with you in which your pants are on. That's all. <laughs> what? What did I say? <laughs> Okay, so Stacy said that I was insensitive and quote, an emotionally crippling piece of goddamn horse to you. I don't agree. She told me to apologize. I don't want to. But she's making my lunch cocktail, so I'm sorry that you're such a delicate little flower with a constant need for validation, ego stroking, and hand holding. There, I said it. I just wanted to do something fun and romantic on Valentine's Day. That isn't just physical, Barbie. Is that too much to ask? No, it's not. It's just difficult because we don't enjoy any of the same things. Oh, come on. There has to be something. Let's think. How about horseback riding? No. Mud wrestling? No. Pipe pipe golf? No. Pagan animal sacrificing? No. A stroll along the beach? No. Organizing a hate crime? We're never going to agree on anything! I'm in the room. I'm not looking. Please refrain from the sexual activity until I've left. Let's not have a repeat of last time. Here's your lunch, Barbie. I hope you choke. Stacy, solve a problem. What activity could you suggest for me and your father to do on Valentine's Day that we'll both enjoy? Okay, let's see. It's got to be something vain and self-indulgent, so you like it. It's got to be something feminine and whimsical, so Dad likes it. So, in conclusion, I don't know. You're so dead to me. Whatever, clean your room, please. I'm not doing it again. And dust the stupid photo of yourself. I don't want to look at it personally. Hey, this photo is not stupid. I took this photo as a present for Ken and then kept it because it's too damn gorgeous. There you go. That's your Valentine's Day activity right there. What? Giving Ken the photo I was meant to give him years ago? Great idea! Happy Valentine's Day, Ken! Yay, we did it! No! I mean, take a photo together as your Valentine's Day activity. Dad loves playing dress up and you like pictures of yourself. She's right. Sounds like a damn good plan. Book a photographer and crack out your costumes because we are going to rip Valentine's Day a new asshole. Let's celebrate this decision with some sex. 
I told you to wait until I left the room, damn it! We've got the costumes, we've got the props, we've got the super sexy music. This is gonna be the best Valentine's Day ever! I hope you've been working on your pelvic floor because you're gonna be holding things up today you never thought you could. It's super convenient that you have a photo shoot room in your house. Well, some people have kitchens, I have a photo shoot room. And three kitchens. And an indoor pool. And an outdoor pool. A makeup room. A sauna. A frozen yogurt nook. A valet. A dungeon. Where's the photographer? We've been waiting an hour already. I don't know. You did book them, didn't you? Ken? Why are you breathing heavily? What are you looking at? You booked the photographer, didn't you? Ken? Why are you sweating? Ken? I don't, I don't think, I, I don't, don't you have one on retainer? Ken, are you telling me that you got me excited about owning more pictures of myself and now it's not happening? No, no, it can still happen. We can use my cell phone camera. I got a selfie stick. I didn't wake up at three to do 4,000 sit-ups to then see the evidence in eight megapixels. You better fix this. Fix it now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I called every photographer in the city. They're all booked out because it's Valentine's Day and I offered them lap dances from you. They were all tempted, but they could not renege on their commitments. Damn it. Did you ask Skipper if she'd do it? Yes, she went to say something then vomited in her mouth. Chelsea. She said it didn't sound PG-13. Stacy. She's still mad we had sex in front of her. Chrissy. Is a small baby. Regardless, I asked. Her response was pooping herself. Well, you done ruined it. You ruined everything. Well, not necessarily. There is another option. Hello! No, 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 and also no, no, no. Barbie, we've got no other options and she takes really good pictures. I do. I took a picture of my friend Chloe when we went clubbing and she made her a profile picture for like eight months. It got 36 likes and some love heart eye emojis. I got skills. I don't want to. It's weird and I hate her. But Barbie, think about all the wall space in your house without pictures of you. Think about Skipper's room. We could wallpaper it. Think about it. She could wake up every day and be intimidated by perfectly lit evidence of your ripped body. It'll make her so insecure. Don't you want that for her? Okay, I'm in. Let's do this thingy. Yay, okay. Tits out. Get the baby oil. Let's do this. Okay, you're on vacation. You're in the sun. You're in love. You're sunbaking. And you're each other's sunscreen. Go. What? Protect each other from the sun. UV rays could kill. But how do you want us to pose? Listen to me. Listen closely. I have a particular method. And I will set the mood. And you do what feels natural. Okay. The mood is banana split. Go. Banana split. Um... Okay. More, more sexy banana split. You are Sunday, it is hot, melt, you're melting. More sprinkles. You're ice fishing, it is cold, brr, you are cold. You're freezing, color for warmth, good, sexy warmth. Eskimo kissing, Eskimo face slap, Eskimo robot dance. Now instead of fishing pole, you can love one. Go! You are on a secret mission in outer space. You're in love with a sexy alien. She's trying to kill you with her face and her boobs. Suffocating with your boobs. Now you have to kill her. Kill her with your laser beam. It comes out of your loved one. Kill her with your loved one. Barbie, you are a cowboy. Ken, you are her horse. Now buck Barbie off your back. She's trying to tame you. Ride that horse, Barbie. Side saddle, bareback. You're wild like a bull. Reverse cowgirl. You're the golfer. She's the putting green. You are a pro. Get the hole in one. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods all over her. Hit her with your club. Smack her. Fifty shades of fairway. You are a fireman. She is fire. Put her out. Smother her. Smother her. All the oxygen away from her. Careful. Don't burn. Now make her wet. Make her wet with your hose. By hose, I mean love wand. Sexy boy mermaid. Lura to see with your siren song. Sing. Use your trident. Save her from lonely, boring pirate life with Johnny Depp. Barbie, you are a rich businessman. Ken is a sexy poor waitress. Hit her on her ass while you grab a drink. Grab her ass. You're an entitled son of a wealthy businessman. Everything you have, you got to nepotism. You have no empathy or boundaries. Let it lead to a court case. It's fine. She'll be blamed. Just say she was drunk. Fondle her. Go. I'm feeling really violated. You're mental. So you both are curtains, but you wish you were carpets. Sway in the breeze as you reach out longing for the floor. No, I'm done. This is stupid. I've got it. I've almost got it. Why are you questioning my methods? Because your methods have turned us into furniture and not even sexy furniture like a chase sofa or a vintage armoire. Yeah, Yasmin, why can't you let us be sexy furniture? I don't have to justify my app to you, okay? I'm a professional. You're a professional dip. 
This is good. I can use anger. Okay, so now you're a pair of angry curtains. No more curtains! Kelly, I think we should hear Yasmin out if she thinks curtains could make for a good picture. You're sleeping with her, aren't you? What? No! Yes, you are! You're sleeping with her behind my back! That's the real reason you conveniently forgot to book a photographer. You were plotting to parade around in front of her in your underwear this whole time! No, Barbie! I love you! Besides, if that was my intention, that would be the most convoluted way in the world to go about convolute it. Convolute this! Hey, you know that hitting me is a direct violation of your parole order! Don't touch my hair, ass ass! Think you're gonna Barbie, touch gonna my hair? Get up! I'm hitting you! No, I'm hitting you on your butt! I will slap you right on the front! No, get that ass so good! You are a bad yes. Use the anger! Channel the anger! And you! It just wouldn't be Valentine's Day unless you ruined it, would it? Goddamn f***ing life. Stop so what easy. You want to show her so with your so gigantic oh, head as well as you look so sexy. Stop taking these godforsaken pictures. Oh, these, these are actually really good. Yes, I know. Look at that shadowing. My muscle definition. Ken, Ken, look at your chiseled jawline. I'll take your word for it. Yasmin, you're actually really talented. Yes, I know. I am so sorry I doubted you and punched you in the tit. It's okay. You've done it before. You'll do it again. Guys, what does a ruptured spleen feel like? Okay, you want to take more pictures then? Okay, what are you feeling this time? Guys, please. I think I need a doctor. Great idea, Kenny. Barbie can be a doctor and you can be a nurse and we could do a set of photos in which Barbie victimizes you with her superiority complex. That won't even be very hard for me to imagine. I I'm thinking guys, I could give him a physical Can you help me, oh, guys? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm so glad we did this. Hope you liked the film. There's more to come on the 15th of every month. Make sure you're following our social media accounts for updates and spoilers on upcoming films. Love, Sam. And Mickey. There. Perfect. It really did turn out nice. Yeah, and in the end you only suffered a concussion and two fractured ribs for it. I'm so glad that we made light of the fact that you're physically abusive towards me. The pictures turned out so good, guys! Thanks for stepping up, Yasmin. You really did salvage Valentine's Day for us. You're a good friend. No, thanks, Barbie. Now, how will you be paying my bill? You're what? I told you I'm a professional. You owe me $3,000. Excuse me? We thought you did this out of the goodness of your heart. Listen, I got no sugar daddy anymore. Mama gotta make a living, okay? Pay me 3000 or I put the raw and Photoshop versions of these pictures on social media. What do you say? Well, I guess that's fair. No, don't worry, honey. I've got this. So, uh... Oh! Run, Ken, run! Locked it! Choked it, punching bitch!